guys welcome back to the channel today's video as you see from the title is going to be my fall thrift store haul i have been collecting items over the last couple of weeks to use in my upcoming fall decor i was going to wait until the second week in september to do my little fall series here on the channel but i think i'm going to start uploading videos in the next day or two so without further ado let's just jump on into the video and before we do that i would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and once you hit the subscribe button hit the notification button so you won't miss any of my uploads i also want to say thank you thank you thank you for all your support each and every one of you i really really appreciate it so 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 very much so now let's get into the video and the first item i would like to share with you guys is this bowl here i paid 2.99 for this bowl they actually had three of them but i only wanted one i couldn't see myself using three but i don't know maybe i should have gotten all three and it is a beautiful amber color you know that's very very popular this year and i did was able to find a lot well not a lot a couple items in the amber color and it has the pine cones and some leaves designs on the back and i can see myself putting miniature pine cones inside of this or maybe some miniature pumpkins it's so many different things that you can you know put inside of a bowl like this or just use it for what it was made for for candy so you can sit some you know like fall candy inside of this also and i should have started with this first instead of the bowl because i want to show all the amber pieces together so i'm going to jump back to this end and show you this dish here not sure what i'm going to be using this for and a lot of times when i do shop whether i'm shopping in stores thrift stores whatever store i shop with a purpose meaning i try to get items that i already have a vision for it in my home but this i'm not sure what i'm going to use it for but i just love the green color and design see so it has grapes this is a pear apple and i don't know what i think this is a orange no that's not an orange well it just has the fruit designs on the back there and this is the inside i paid $2.99 for this and i just thought it was so beautiful guys and it, it has a little bit of weight to it too so so the next item is this ginger jar and i was so excited when i got this number one because of the price i hope you guys can see that a dollar 97 yes i got this for a dollar 97 and i also was excited about the design of the jar because it almost looked like a sweater it's made like a sweater can you see it on the side there so i thought it would be really perfect for the winter season and it is in excellent condition so the next item is this gravy bowl guys i think that's what you call these i got this for my new hutch i just found me a new hutch and i'm so excited my husband is going to do some touch-ups on it it has some little worn areas here and there so he's going to sand it down and um just stain it or paint it we haven't decided yet but i got this to go in my hutch and it has the you know like kind of like a fall design on the sides you can see like pine cones leaves and i can also see using this in the christmas season and i think i paid let me see i think i paid like 97 cents i know it was really really inexpensive i got that bowl in this ginger jar at the same place so we're going to just continue with the amber glassware and i got this decorative bowl here and i can't remember how much i was looking for the price but i can't remember how much i paid for this but i know it wasn't over i think it was two dollars i paid two dollars for this really really beautiful love the detail of it 
Love the amber color. So I'll probably be sitting this probably on a console or something and adding, like I said, you can add pine cones, you can add pumpkins, you can add candy. And this jar here I purchased, I paid like $2.50 for it. I thought it was amber color, but as you see, the color is fading. So I'm gonna spray paint this a gold color. Um, I, like I said, I only paid $2.55, I think, for this. So I'm gonna spray paint that. Because once I cleaned it up, it, the color kind of faded away. And the most exciting amber glass purchase was these glasses here and i got these from my local thrift store and i got six of them and they were like 59 cents i think the girls gave they were like half off or something like that so i got six of them there was eight but one of them had a chip in it and i should have gotten the extra one because if something happened to one of these i could always replace it but when i went back they were gone but i did get six way to do a tablescape with these guys and then the next item is i keep looking on the bottom because i'm looking for the price but i'm i did clean them and i have to clean this again because it looked like it has water spots in it but look at this guy only 1.99 or 2.99 guys i'm not sure but i know it wasn't that much it might have been 2.99 and i can't wait to use this so i was really excited when I found this because you know for a vase this size you can pay $20 and up especially during the season when amber is, is such a hot commodity right now you know everybody's looking for this amber colored glass so I was really excited when I found this and this next item here I found this glass this glass vase, amber vase, and I paid 99 cents for this. And I have already done an arrangement in it, and I just love this arrangement. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this in a tablescape or maybe sit it on top of my counter. Well, I got this whole bouquet of flowers and the little picks here. Everything was included in the bouquet, and I got it from Walmart, and it's just so beautiful i love it it included the pumpkins which this is the color that i'm going to be going with for the fall season well one of the color schemes that i'm going to be going with for the fall season so i just thought that was so pretty and this is how it looks on the back and i try to make my arrangements really pleasing to the eye no matter what angle you are looking at it so really cute so this was completed with the 99 cent vase and I think I paid $5 for this whole bouquet arrangement. So less than $6 completed this look. So I already showed you guys this in a previous video and this is just a little candy stand and it's shaped like a pumpkin. And then I found and then I found this little owl here. He's a candle holder and I paid $1.99 for him. So cute. I could sit this on my fireplace or my coffee table. Really cute. And then I found this little guy here he was only 99 cents and i just thought he was so cute and this is for halloween and i will be doing some decor for halloween also so i that's why i got this guy and then you guys have already seen this arrangement matter of fact i'm going to take it out of this packaging this is a centerpiece and like I said, I already featured this in a previous video and it just is so beautiful. And I will be doing a tablescape with that. And I paid $4.99, no, not $4.99, $4.97 for this. I have to say guys, this is one of my favorite finds and I think 
I paid four ninety nine for this. So I paid five dollars for this vase, and it is so heavy. This is my color scheme for my family room. Perfect with the burnt oranges and the beiges and the off whites for the fall season. I'm pretty sure I can use this arrangement that I already have in this vase here. So I'm going to transfer the flowers from one to another so you can see how beautiful this is going. Look, this would look awesome on a tablescape on my coffee table just anywhere in my home this would be beautiful guys look at the back look at the back is this not beautiful love it i was so excited when i found it so pretty love that and then the next item it's really not fall um i was thinking about using and I paid, before I open it, I paid $147 for these three pieces. So I'm gonna take it out so you can see it. And it looks like these are little, I think they are lamb. Three little lambs, the mother lamb and two baby lambs. So this is the mother. And then these are the two babies. So I got these to go in a nativity scene. I think that would look nice in one of my nativity scenes. So that's why I got that. And then the next item is this dough bowl. I paid $2 for this dough bowl. It does have like a little sticky spot, so I had to get that out. But otherwise, it's perfect. Oh, and one of the little, little skid, whatever these little things that you put so it won't slide came off but I could always replace that and originally this is it was from Ross and it was $13.99 I paid $2.99 so I paid $3 from this for the thrift store and as you see it has the little pumpkins right there on each end of the dough bowl and I can't wait to decorate I'm gonna probably do a little vignette on my kitchen counter with this The very last item, guys, is this candle holder. Me and my husband was thrift shopping together and he actually spotted this. And I was like, yes. I did pay $13 originally because it still has the sticker on the bottom. It was $34.99. I paid $16. It was either $16 or $18 for this. And I feel like it was worth it. It is a candle holder, and as you see, it is very large. I hope I am getting the whole essence of it in this video on the camera for you guys, so you can see the detail of it. Really, really cute. And this can be used all year round. So I could just put a candle on top of this, or maybe a pumpkin would be really, really cute. I had to sit that down guys because it was heavy so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up comment down below which was your favorite item like i said i didn't pay a lot for these items i am on a limited budget and if you guys are on a limited budget check your local thrift stores and um you can find awesome items some of them are gently used and some of them have never been used at all at great prices okay guys that's it for this video it is going to be another part where i show you items that i already had i didn't want to include it in this video because i felt like it would have been too long and it will be like a part two i'm going to be unpacking my fall stuff just to let you guys see what i have and also i like to do that because i have a tendency sometimes i don't know if you guys do it to i buy stuff twice like I fall in love with stuff I go to the store because you know a lot of stores they repeat stuff each season so I have been known to purchase the same item so I'm going out my fall totes guys and seeing just what I have so I won't be repurchasing the same items over 
and I'm gonna let you guys take a look at my little fall stash that I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share, but most of all, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.